Hey you guys, so let's talk about inflammation in the body. Now I know this all too well, being diagnosed uh, with early arthritis when I was serving in the military, okay? Now as a military veteran, sometimes those aches and pains hit you later on. So today I want to talk about um, inflammation because the question that someone asked me, how do you alleviate inflammation in the body? And so first I want to give you usually the issue, what's maybe going on with the body that's causing the inflammation that you have to identify first before you um, alleviate it, right? And so first and foremost, let me tell you, okay? Inflammation is going to come from a lot of things that we're eating. So you have to be able to identify the inflammation causing foods. What does that look like? Inflammation causing foods look like a lot of bread. If you're eating a lot of um, pork, red meat, uh, beef, any type of meat, if you're eating overconsumption of that every day, multiple times a day, that can cause inflammation in the body, a lot of soda, all these things contribute to extra acid in the body, um, extra excess mucus, things like that. And so you want to be able to identify that. And if you have any habits like drinking alcohol or smoking, then you're going to want to make sure you assess those areas and make sure that you're not... Um, having um over consuming those things okay or consuming them at all depending on if you're suffering from a medical condition okay which can make it worse so our habits it goes back to our habits um what habits do you have that's contributing to the inflammation in the body okay and so another thing that i want to provide for you i'm going to give you three things real quick that's going to help with inflammation in the body so other than eliminating those inflammation causing foods and drinks or habits that you have ginger is really good for eliminating um, inflammation in the body. So ginger is one of those um, super, I call it like a super herb, right? So ginger, number two is going to be berries. Strawberries, blueberries, melons, um, different like different types of berries or melons. That's going to help provide oxygen um, to the blood, to your, to your blood cells, okay? And so that helps fight off inflammation in the body. And last but not least, the last thing is sea moss. Sea moss gel is a natural, it helps for natural, um, it's a natural collagen for the body. And not just that, it's going to help your bones, okay? So natural collagen, um, things like that, it helps the muscles, uh, pr help provide the the uh, bones with calcium there we go okay and then just for the heck of it I'm gonna give you a bonus real quick stretching stretching is going to help with inflammation okay in the body so I hope that you enjoyed this I hope that you take this information and actually utilize it don't just become a consumer of information go ahead and apply it to yourself consistently and I promise you that you will definitely feel a difference okay so if you enjoyed this video go ahead like um subscribe and then share it with somebody who is dealing with inflammation so they can start healing in 2023 also i want you to drop a comment down below in the in the um, comments drop a question down below so that you can get your answers um your health uh, questions answered okay so that's what i want you all to do and i thank you for being here and i hope that in 2023 you stop dealing and you start healing naturally nutritionally and holistically